Welcome to part 18 of the Super Mario Galaxy playthrough. <laughs> no, that's out of context. <laughs> You're just gonna confuse this the audience. galaxy and everything about it. <laughs> well, it's a boring. It's a boring galaxy. So ship, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I broke John's intro. <laughs> No, dude, what are my fucking standards? I don't give a shit. My ship's for dinner. I wonder what uh, fails uh, in the morning. Bunnies. Bunnies. Yeah, this is, uh, uh, half, out, of all the uh, out of all the missions we play at Goldie Galaxy, the, the first one, actually, Star Bunnies on the Hunt is my least favorite one. Hot Rod Flames! Bunnies! Hot Rod Incidentally, Flames! Incidentally, uh, we're not looking at it right now, but, uh, in, um... In Honey Hive, uh, if you turn around at the very start and look out into the sky, there's an M in Starbits. I think oh, it's, it's an L, L. Oh, in, oh, in, in this, this one. one. In Goldleaf, it is an L, yes. It's an M in Honey Hive. Yeah. So Luigi's Wait. just the autumn mirrored version of Mario, then. Yeah. Um, Luigi's Purple Coins is literally on the Mario on, on the 8-bit Mario planetoid, except on the other side. Yeah, it is. Cause uh, it's like it's lava on the Mario side, but it's like swamp juice on the Luigi side. It's uh, dark matter, I think. Swamp juice. Swamp juice. <laughs> John, the thingy's right there. Just use that instead. No, I you already just, got it. I, yeah, I never. I already got it. You looked like you were trying to launch yourself up on top no, of no, that no. platform. What happened was that I, I used a shortcut way to get the uh, the star piece, but then I ended up wasting time. <laughs> because I never, I never remember the memorize the star look, uh, star bit locations here. Uh, yeah. Uh. Though if you talk to the bees, they sometimes tell you where some of them might be. Swing itty, swing itty, schwa. Huh? Yeah, they help you. They say, "Hey, I saw it over there." Well, where's the there? I love how no one complains about talking to people in a Mario game for stuff like that. But God forbid you have to stop for twenty seconds in a Sonic game. Well, no, in the Mario, well, you don't really have a whole lot of dialogue here. It's just you walk next to them and you see a dialogue bubble. The the hub worlds in like Sonic Adventure completely break the pace, as opposed to here where it's not breaking the pace. No, I, I mean, think in Sonic it's, Adventure, it, it, you it, never it, had to talk to anyone. Yeah, uh, well, it, there's that, and uh, if it's in a hub world, I don't mind doing that. The hub worlds in a. Do you remember a the Sonic hub worlds game. in a? Do you, do you remember the way that they did hub worlds like in the Wii Sonic Unleashed, where it's just a list of people to talk to and there's that no walking was around? Boring. That was terrible. Yeah. I was just curious though, because I know some people that like that better, and other people that say it's terrible compared to the. Well, no, it's at, at the time. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was saying is that it does take less time, but at the same time, there's less variety to it. Yeah, at that it's, point, it's just why so even have it? Yeah, it's like, the, my problem with that, though, is that it just looks so cheap. It looks like a Flash game. Yeah, it's like you're, it's like you're loading up a HTML. <laughs> it, 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 it's like the game is reminding you that the Wii version was produced on a, on a significantly lower budget than the HD one, specifically to be a, ch a cheap cash-in. You know, mm. I I'm generally a detractor from Hub Worlds and Sonic, but I can definitely give more credit to uh, Unleash's uh, Hub Worlds compared to the uh, Wii version, if only because, uh, you know, uh, there's I'm an actual playing, Hub World. I'm playing Unleash now for a practice run, and the Hub Worlds are actually still pretty charming. Mm -hmm. Well, it's time to hunt some wabbits. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> now, you're not getting it. You're not catching this thing until you press the button, right? What are you talking yeah. about? You can. You can throw star bits at it and uh, uh, daze it. Which yeah, I'm trying to do right now. Yeah. Automatically Just the button. Or topple. Just get the button. I don't want to push the button. He wants to do this the manly way. Let him. Yeah, my thought well, if, you run out, if you use a combination of button and no, star you're missing. Bits, so fine. We're going to be here forever, aren't we? Uh, no, actually, about a few more seconds. There you go. Oh! <laughs> you lie! Liar! Liar! Liar exaggerate. Uh, I, I said a few more seconds. I didn't say how many seconds. There you go. Five US seconds. Real men waste time. So am I the manliest man there is, John? <laughs> Damn! Wait. <laughs> the United States has its own measure of seconds? <laughs> of course. Time yeah. plate. Are we in a chronological depression right now? 
we, no, we need Lewis, God, that means no we need a stimulus package to we need a stimulus package to move time forward. The U.S. has to have its own version of everything. We did it for uh, meters. We did it for liters. Now we're doing it for seconds. We also tried to do it for French fries, but that was fucking stupid. <laughs> America realized that. French fries are an American creation. So are, so are, so are fortune cookies. Yeah, but they're also not called Chinese cookies, so... But everyone thinks they're Chinese. That might have like something to do with to the them. fact that they that you always get them at Chinese food places. Well, you can get them at Animal Crossing. Get Nintendo really items. What? That's, that's, How that's many Jap Metroids that's, do you have, John? That's Japanese, though, not Chinese. <laughs> oh, he's doing it. He's do he does it. Yay! I saved a whole minute. <laughs> he's, he's he's grown as a player. But you said real and then waste funny. time, so you're not a real man, John. <laughs> He, he yeah. didn't gain a U.S. minute, though. I am an Ultraman. Ultraman. <laughs> Gutman. Gutsman. Iceman. Ultraman. Focus on, on. Oh, so you're not doing the bell uh, mission? No, I'm not doing the, uh, the the secret star near the tree now. I usually do that one before doing the. This. I was. I, I thought I was going to as well, and then I actually started playing. <laughs> <laughs> Cheap! Come on, you stupid cataquack. Wow, I wonder what I'm supposed to do here. I gotta wonder why, of all the things to bring back from Sunshine, they picked these guys. Because oh. nobody liked the missions with Cataquack in them in uh, Sunshine. Watermelon! <laughs> well, Thanks. it's because Cataquacks can actually be used somewhat well with the whole gravity thing. Yeah, they can. There we go. Wait, they did Landed. you ever have to? Did, or the the cataquacks and sunshine on top of my head? Were they just simply something they were that you an had obstacle? To they were okay, but they were never utilized as a something that you need to I solve. Think they, I think they were occasionally. I, I, I think so. the most they ever did with them is there's a power up over here or a coin or something irrelevant, but you want it? Okay, get a cataquack beneath it and you can pick it up. Huzzah! I'm deceased crab. I I what? don't remember there. Ever, <laughs> I don't remember there ever being any mission where you ex to use a cataquack to get somewhere. I remember this area being something about it, like there was like a glitch or something <laughs> in this area. Well, the gravity's kind of wonky on this platform. Um, I think a well placed triple jump allows you to skip a majority of this. Hmm. I love how you 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 got launched up so far. You actually got launched to the end of the planetoid, and then the cataquack at the end launches you back to the middle again. <laughs> Yeah, I think like a, a well-placed triple jump here can actually get you to that launch star without having to utilize cataquacks. Um, but the, but you know I, I, I'm not really good at utilizing triple jumps when they directly behind Mario. I think that's done intentionally, uh, probably. Yeah, most likely it is. Yes. Intentionally. Intentionally. My. <sighs> what? Uh... Jenga blocks. Jenga. Jenga blocks. I never only I've only played that game twice. It's uh, not really it. all that fun. If you, you want do, to knock do. down play... blocks, just knock down blocks. You, well, you play. <laughs> yes, I like, you into yeah. a coin. The you object play... is to see how high you can build the tower without them toppling down. Yeah. It's not about but, knocking but, but down blocks. But seeing it topple down is way more fun than having it not topple yeah. down. So. It, 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 it's it's like Mousetrap. You don't build it to play the game. You build it to knock it down. <laughs> yeah, but it, gonna... there, there's a certain there's a certain thrill to seeing how high you can build it and how unstable you can make the 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 the, the, the base of the tower without it actually falling down. If you, uh, if you ever go to PAX East, they do a great job of making Jenga exciting, though, because they have this thing called the Omegathon, where you're competing in, like, various games. The past few years, they made one of the final games of all things Jenga. Like, even though, like, they're all video games, typically, they always have this match with just these giant Jenga blocks that's, like, up on a stage in front of thousands of people. <laughs> <laughs> well, we plan on going next PAX East, so I guess we'll see. Hopefully they do it again next year, though, because, God... So did they do it. Th did they do it this they year? They did it this year, and they did it last year at the very least. Those are the two years where I went and I saw it. Whoa! 
God oh. help you if you land. I have a question. Why do those flowers just spontaneously poof out of existence if something other than B Mario steps on them? Because they don't want to be covered with all of Mario's disgusting, dirty shoes. Well, because they need to be pollinated by a bee, and if they're pollinated by something else, they become extinct. But you see, B Mario is still wearing regular Mario shoes. Yeah, but now they smell like bees, so they can't tell. Because Mario's uh, disguising the, pollu the pollutants on his shoes. Yeah, he's, he's still wearing the same pair from Sunshine. N64. Oh god, the shoes he was walking around in, in like, magical acid paint with? Yes. He doesn't Wait, even Mario, like Mario only has. Mario only has one pair of shoes. He got them from now, Uncle Chuck. <laughs> I love this mission. It's literally Honey Hive Galaxy with a stock wooden platforming course built in the sky above it. Now, at the very least, at the very least, Mario did change his shirt from Sunshine if he changed nothing else, because his shirt was short-sleeved in Sunshine. It's long sleeve here. Well, you could have just rolled his sleeves off, but... No, no they definitely weren't rolled up. Sleeve. Well, you know yeah. what? I didn't like that look. Well, I, Mario can, has I can understand skin? him wearing the short sleeve shirt if he's in a tropical environment. <laughs> yeah, it's like, right, I think right hit the nail on the head there. Mario has arms. <laughs> <laughs> Mario's arms! Well, I assume he has arms. He could punch things in 64. I thought he only had a human head. <laughs> He's just a human head on the... On, a, on an bit overalls and... Shirts and stuff. Boots. You know, I actually go through the trouble of... ...bugs when I pass through here. Well, you're just ignoring them. You're in fact, you're ignoring most of the wooden planks entirely. Well, you can fly. <laughs> yeah, well, that's no excuse for not playing the game. Well, if they didn't want me skipping the level, they shouldn't have given it's me the power to fly. <laughs> I don't have to fly over everything, but it's my choice. So you choose to ignore the entire point of a platform game. I have a power up, and it's to my power. It's damn right. They didn't want you to fly over. They shouldn't have given you. Nice. Why is that? Why is that so hard to understand? I don't know. Gee, thanks, game. I was wondering <laughs> if I could go up. I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's a very common thing in platformers. The the collectibles are arranged in arrows pointing in the direction you're supposed to go. Well, I can Gee. understand in a little bit a, a more free roaming area, but. This is basically just a 2D section anyway, so... Uh, I that was like in Donkey Kong Country, like in the swimming stages, they had like bananas arranged in arrows. Well, it, 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 in that game's uh, defense, the underwater stages could get a little bit disorienting at some points. Yeah, I think that was the first time I remember really seeing it like in a big game, though. I, th I think you're referring to the first level. I think in that specific room, you can either go up or down. Ow. Actually, this guy's pretty easy if you know how to utilize long jumps. Or, you know, <laughs> you can do that. You can be like, like... <laughs> and repeatedly. Utilize long jumps. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I long jumped in the wrong direction. Off you go. <laughs> long jumped, he long jumped in that direction and he went the other. You didn't the even most... press the button like you're supposed to. The balls get so much shit in this game. Boop, 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 boop. Yaha! I Is keep that doing... the last? No, wait, there's another. Oh, yeah, the secret level. Alright, now secret. we're doing the bell. What's wrong with the bell? Fucking bell. It, this is a, actually a really short and easy, um. Uh, bubble. This might be the only time I actually kind of like the bubble. Well, if you, you're really good at it, you can get the Mario Underwater theme playing at, like, 600 tempo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the music that will forever be the bane of my existence. I, li I really do like the Underwater Mario theme, though. It's one of my favorite uh, Underwater I themes. They never brought this back. Like They never, they never brought back the, the whole notes thing, like, after the Galaxy you know, games. You know what? In Sonic... No, there's some uh, 3D Land sections with them. In Sonic... Oh.
want there to be a secret area in one of the levels where you do exactly this, except the music you're recreating is the drowning theme. <laughs> well, 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 I know you're, you're kind of kidding with that, but have you have you been keeping up with Sonic Lost World? The gameplay footage and all that stuff? Someone. I'm trying to keep myself somewhat unspoiled. Are you are at least familiar with the Rhythm Wisp? Um, no, actually. The Rhythm Wisp, the rhythm wisp allows you to ride musical notes. And uh, I, I'm not exactly sure if they play a theme with your your riding them, but uh, you know, there's there's potential. <laughs> Interesting. There's also well, the, there's also there's also the tails power galaxy comparisons as opposed to more at this point. There's also the not tails power up number two. Dude, dude, it's so obviously a Mario Galaxy ripoff that at this point I just want them to go to town with it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the thing is that they finally realized that if something's like Mario Galaxy, it's good, so they're doing it. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean that you have to make th the same exact game. It's not the same exact game. No, it has parkour. Well, I'm not. Oh, okay, well, fine. If I they, if if it's gonna be if they if they want to make a game just like Mario Galaxy, why wouldn't I just play Mario Galaxy? Though is my line of thinking. Why this one has Sonic just, in it. If if they want to make a side scroller pl platformer, why not just play 2D Mario? Well, the Okay, well that's that's actually or, or the reason why a lot of the 2D platformers in the back in the 16 and 8 bit days failed was because they sucked. And why would you play something exactly like Mario but worse when Mario's right there? That implies that Lost World is worse. Well, I'm just. Oh. Well, okay. Even if they are. Hey, spicy return. Why are we fighting this guy again? Even a recycled boss. This is rehash. Uh, don't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think at this point in the game's development, they were just sort of, you know, running out of time or something. Well, they had so many ideas in Galaxy 2 that they needed to make it an entire new game. Why couldn't they have had all those new ideas, like, six possibly, months earlier? Possibly those were the ideas for this dome. <laughs> <laughs> they just didn't have the budget to make them. <laughs> wow, what Nintendo do we go for has for infinite Goomba? budget. Yeah, but you see, Mario Galaxy. When did Mario Galaxy come out in relation to the Wii? Two thousand a year after Wii Sports did. So, but it, it was, was two thousand seven. So uh, one year after its launch. One year after launch, they were they were a year into the console's lifespan, and they still didn't have a three D Mario game to sell it with. Well, look at they the Wii U. The <laughs> yeah, game the Wii U out. suffering the same fucking predictable. <laughs> they wanted this fucking game out by then. The GameCube also did the same thing. Sunshine wasn't out until about nine months after the console launched. You, I, well, I you arguably had more to play in that I time. For that, actually, for not making the Mario game a launch title. Well, Galaxy was supposed to be a launch title, but they ended up delaying it. I'm just yeah, saying... Well, it's Nintendo. They delete everything. I'm just saying, you know, Sonic Unleashed, when did that come out? In uh, not, oh, Sonic oh, wait. Adventure. Oh, when did that come out in... in uh, Sonic Adventure, when did that come out in relation to the Dreamcast? That was, was a launch title. title. It was a launch yeah, it was. Title. It was a launch title. It was also technically glitched out the ass. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want Mario to be like that. Yeah, Sonic Adventure, like, I, I see a lot of people, like, you know, saying that Sonic... Sonic game, though, but I'm just like... No. I don't... I, I think the that's the definition of a game that hasn't Sonic. aged well. The gameplay no. Sonic stages in particular is pretty nice. Overall, the game is... is eh. I the, still the, think that Adventure 2 has aged much better than Adventure 1, but and I know that we're going to get into an argument about that. And it's funny because I see people saying that like Adventure 2 has aged horribly and Adventure 1 has aged great, and I'm just like... No. It's the opposite for me. <laughs> Well, Adventure, I'm not going to say that Adventure 2 has aged flawlessly, because that I'm not game gonna say still it has, has no. plenty of... That but. game still has plenty of glitches, even if you're just playing... It does. It functions. I won't say much for the sake of not starting an argument, because I'm, I'm right with Ted on that one. Your <laughs> um, game is perfect, I'll say when that. When I say... Uh, but, but here's the thing, though, because to me, I have a sort, I have a different uh, mentality when I, when I state that, because when I say that Sonic Adventure, uh, whether or not it's aged well or not, I don't mean as a whole. You know, I'm I'm more I'm more referring to the Sonic Tales and Knuckles stages, you know. And not, sorry. No, what, what I'm pretty much just getting at here is just that whether or not Sonic Adventure ha as a whole is aged well or not, that's a completely different argument as to whether or not characters in Sonic Adventure have aged well or not. Yeah, it, it's just like Sonic Adventure is not a terrible game. It's just that it is it is really glitchy though. But there there are things that I like about each game. I like in Sonic Adventure 
just being able to charge up a spin attack and just watch Sonic go. Like if you jump off of a cliff or something like that, you go flying. That that uh, that is really fun. It lets you explore things really really well. And you know, Sonic levels always had that sense of exploration. Wow. In Adventure Two, I like how if you jump off a 200 foot drop to land on this tiny little grind rail, you land on that tiny little grind rail. Yeah. You know, Unless I only meant. I only meant to make a point about technical completion, but oh, this is an interesting discussion. By all means, carry on. Uh, <laughs> we only have kind of the wrong discussion for a Mario Galaxy playthrough. It's only we only have we only have five seconds left in the video. Oh, well, well you we're talking about that, that Sonic is totally a Nintendo property now. Well, <laughs> not a. He might as well. Hmm. Depends on how well, well that deal with Nintendo for the games they published last.